What's up everyone, Josh here, Half-Ass Beer Review, coming at you with another beer review. This is a little different, not a little different, this is right up the alley of what I normally do. I got a comment on one of my last videos uh, from somebody saying, hey, I'd like to see some bigger beers, like just some bigger, more available beers. And he was like, you know, it'd probably help your channel grow, and I, he just wants to see it. And I'm not super concerned about my channel growing. I, it'd be nice, you know, but at the same time, I kind of get stuck in the same routine. I go in and I was like, oh, that can art looks cool. That looks cool. You know, and it's, it's end up like these really smaller breweries, a lot of Michigan breweries and stuff like that. But you're, you're here watching, you're interacting. I'm going to give you what you want. Now, if this isn't your idea of what you want, please leave me a comment, be a little more specific, and I'll even do that for you. This is a bottle of Shock Top Twisted Pretzel, Belgian style wheat ale brewed with spices and caramel malt and with artificial flavor added. Uh, 5% ABV, brewed and canned by, brewed and canned, yeah, they canned this bottle, brewed and bottled by Shock Top Brewing Company, St. Louis, Missouri. Shock Top is probably more famous for their, just a regular wheat ale, it's Shock Top, right? Is there another name for it that I just don't remember? It was popular with the the, the whole blue moon thing, dirty bonds and stuff like that, the wheat beer phase, you get a little orange with it. You know, it's, it's, um, I'm not a huge fan of shock top as the wheat, the original wheat beer. I just didn't think it's good. There's just not a lot of flavor to it. There's more flavor in blue moon. I'm not huge on blue moon, but blue moon, I think is a lot better than like that shock top wheat. But this is the wheat with, uh, caramel malt spices and artificial flavors added. I don't really know what that means, but let's check this beer out. All right, everyone, let's pop the top. Let's pour it, look at it, smell it, taste it, see what it's got going on. Now, Shock Top is one of the first victims, I feel like, to big brewing. They were bought out by Anheuser-Busch, I think, a really long time ago. I think before anybody really knew it was going to be a thing, Anheuser-Busch. Damn, Anheuser-Busch bought them out, and I am smelling pretzels right now. That's kind of cool. I love pretzels. I do. And pretzels, honestly, is probably like the perfect beer pairing. Like if you're just going to have a snack with some beer, if you're drinking Miller Lite, if you're drinking anything light that isn't like super heavy or dark or, you know, pretzels, that, the salty pretzels go a long way with this stuff. This kind of looks like a pretzel beer, right? Like if you were to tell me there's a pretzel beer, I'd say this is what it's going to look like. The only thing I might do is add like little salt pellets floating around in there, but those would dissolve. Even the head. It's just like a tinted brown of off-white. My goodness. What? This is like smelling a bag of Snyder pretzels. Maybe mixed in with a little popcorn. Like if there was a bag of Snyder pretzels and popcorn, that's what this would smell like. Burnt popcorn is my favorite thing. I love burning popcorn. I love burnt popcorn. Not only does it taste delicious but no one else wants it, so you get it all for yourself. It's weird. Weird fun fact about me. I love burnt popcorn. But anyway, now that we're talking about popcorn, let's try this pretzel, this twisted pretzel beer from Shock Top Brewing Company. As always, on half Ass Beer Review, we do little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. This isn't half bad. Isn't half bad. Right up front, you're getting a lot of that pretzeliness to it. I could use what would be kind of cool is like a salted rim of the glass. That might that might improve the quality of this beer. But you're getting that that pretzel breadiness right up front. Like that, it's got to be malty, right? That's that's what it's got to be. It's got to be that maltiness giving you that pretzel feeling up front, but it quickly diminishes into a watered down beer. And I think that's my problem with the shock top is that that wheat beer, it's just, it's kind of watered down. There's not tons of flavor to it, but this one right up front, you're getting pretzel flavor. And then it's, you, you as it's in your mouth, swallowing it, that pretzel flavor goes away. And then it's just like a watered down Belgian wheat. So yes, this beer is not 
This beer isn't half. This beer ha isn't half bad. I mean, this beer is half bad is the same thing as me saying this beer isn't half bad. Which one sounds better? Which one do I want to use? If this beer is half bad, yeah, this beer is half bad. That's what I'm gonna. We're leaving it with that. This beer is half bad. Would I ever buy this beer again? No, I wouldn't. If they came out with an improved twisted pretzel, saying, "Hey, we, you know, we fixed it. There's more flavor lasting throughout the entire drink," I'd probably go for it. I'd try it again. But they're not going to do that because it's Anheuser Busch, and they just want to make money. And changing it means they'd have to spend more money on it. And they're not going to do that because I think Shock Top was kind of a flop for them anyway. Shock Top is like a freaking Applebee's beer. You're going to go there and be disappointed by the food and the beer all at the same time. Screw you, Applebee's. But now that's going to do it for this episode of Half As Beer Review. Thank you all for stopping by and joining me for this disappointing beer. Uh, smell was great. The flavor up front was great. But after that, it just diminishes into like a watered down beer. And that's what I was expecting out of Shock Top, Shock Top anyway. Sorry if you love Shock Top. If you do love Shock Top and you want to give me a few choice words, you can do that down in the comments after you give this video a thumbs up. Now, why would you give me a thumbs up if you didn't like my review? I really don't know. But it helps so just just help me out uh but yeah we can start the conversation about beer down in the comments if you ever had this beer do you like this beer how do you feel about shock top just in general let's talk about that because that's pretty interesting to me also if you could be so kind help out my friends banter and babble every wednesday nights nine o'clock twitch facebook youtube the links down there all your pop culture needs movies tv shows video games they talk about it all they just got done talking about d23 and uh, there's a lot of cool things coming, a lot of shows, games, and stuff like that. So it's pretty interesting stuff. And also my friend, Draston the Dungeon Master at 7 Dungeons, Mondays, 7 o'clock, on Twitch, for the best Dungeons and Dragons around. Awesome storytelling, awesome character development, great interaction. You can spend your Twitch points to affect the story. You can save characters, you can hurt characters, you can do all sorts of stuff. It's fun. I enjoy it. I have a great time, and you will too if you just check them out. Again, the links are down there. But until next time, please keep your fridges full. Have a great night.